Have you ever had a problem where you import a picture into a PowerPoint or a keynote presentation, and then you import something else on top of it, uh, an image, and you've got a white background sitting on top of a picture? I'm going to show you in this video how you can correct that using something called Instant Alpha. So first of all, let's put an image inside our document here. So I have an image on my desktop. So let's go to my desktop. There's the image. I'm just going to drag that into my document there. And let's fill the screen. There's a picture of Hong Kong. I'm not going to worry about stretching it too much. So there we go. OK, so there's my image. Now what I want to do is actually put something on top of that. So I have another image here. So let's go back to my desktop. And I have a graph here and I'm going to bring that graph in. Now this graph, as you see, has got a white background. So let's just drag that into my picture. OK, now let's close that. Now you can see here, I don't want that. I don't want to see, let's just make that a little bit bigger. Now I don't want to see the white background there. I want to just see the graph. So what we can do is we can use something called Instant Alpha. Now it's at the top here, I've got it added to my toolbar, but if it's not there, what you can do is you can right click, go to Customize Toolbar, and then you can go and find it from this list here. It will be on this list and then you just drag it in. There's Instant Alpha there, and you drag it into place. And then you can click Done. So let's click on Instant Alpha. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the white. And there we go, our background disappears. Now when you've got text here, what you may need to do is just go around and just quickly get rid of some of the white in the text. All right, you can spend a bit more time on that, or you might want to find an, an image that doesn't have so much text in it. So, um, and then once that's done, you can click done there, and now you can see that we've got an image there without a white background. Like I say, you need to, fix these little bits, but that's absolutely fine. So that's Instant Alpha, a great way of removing coloured backgrounds of images.